this easy lavender rose sachet. First thing you need is an organdy favor bag, dried lavender buds, dried rose buds, a couple cute little silk flowers, a spoon and scissors, two different essential oils, one is lavender and one is rose, some satin ribbon, and finally you need a glue gun. The first thing you want to do is fill the bottom of the organdy bag with lavender buds. And you can get lavender buds like this at um, health food stores, they often have them. We actually bought these because we live very close to Napa and Sonoma. We got them up in the wine country, so they have extra meaning for us. We're just going to fill it part way, maybe a little bit more. I'll do one more spoonful. This is an inexact science. This is just very simple. So that's about how much lavender we want. And now we're going to top that with these beautiful rose buds. It's nice to have these resting on top so you can really see them, really see their pretty color. I'll do a little bit more. There we go. And before I cinch this closed, I'm going to add a little bit of extra scent just to give it that, that robust sachet scent. We've got lavender and we're just going to put a drop of it right in the bag. Don't worry about it leaking out or anything. It won't. It's not enough oil to make a difference. So we've got a little drop of that. And then we'll add a drop of rose. We have a nice collection of essential oils that we've gotten from all over the place. Um, health food stores and online. Craft stores. This one's a little bit harder to drop. There we go. Might have gotten more than one drop of the rose. That's okay. And now we're going to just cinch our bag closed and tie it. That's just to make sure nothing comes out. I'm going to tie it in a knot just to be sure. And then we're going to add a ribbon so we don't need these little ends. So we're just going to snip off the ends like that. And now we want to embellish our bag with some of these really pretty little flowers. First, we're going to add some ribbon. That'll just give those flowers a little spot to live on. So I'm going to pull off some ribbon. And I'm just eyeballing an amount. I'll make a pretty bow. And I'm going to fold the ribbon in the back just to make it a little bit smaller around the back. And then just tie a simple bow with this nice, wide, pretty ribbon. Get the top to stick up a little better there. And I actually want to cover up that little knot, so I'm going to move this up just a tiny bit. There we go. And when we make bows, we like to do the double bunny ear method because it makes it come out better. And let's see if I can do this upside down here. Just one ear over the other. And pull it like that. And then just straighten it out. Like that. And we'll trim our ends in a minute here once we even out our sides. Perfect. And now I'm going to trim little ends. And another little trick we like to do to get pretty little finished ends is to fold the ribbon in half and then cut toward the outer edge at an angle. And what that does is gives you a nice little point. Another fun little trick. We'll do the same thing on this side. Cut out to the edge in a point. It's already cute, but we want to add our little flowers. So we just raided our um, silk flower stash and picked these out because we thought they were pretty. And we're just going to take our hot glue, hot glue gun, we'll do one at a time here, and I'm just going to tuck these down like this. And actually I think they're going to stick better if I cut the little ends off, so I'm going to cut these little, snip these little ends off. 
sometimes the um, stem is what holds the flower together, so just be careful if you cut that stem off and it feels like the flower is falling apart, you can add a little hot glue in between the petals. So now we're just going to hot glue one more there, and then we'll add one more. We'll add a third one here. Now we're just straightening out our bow. It's kind of sticking out the sides because you want to see your pretty rosebuds in the, in the little organdy bag. There, that looks great. Mm -hmm.